Capricorn, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home, my name is and welcome to Jam TV. All right, Cappy, I have spent the entire day meditating. It is now three o'clock, and we started doing my videos two hours ago, because I spent the rest of the time meditating, and uh, what kind of came up was time doesn't exist. It really doesn't. It's, it's, it's of no consequence. It doesn't mean anything. Time is nothing. So this is a timeless reading. This is a timeless reading for everybody. All this week are going to be my timeless readings. It doesn't matter when you receive this reading. It's when it's supposed to happen. Okay. And you know what? The last two I did, I feel like I'm clearing the decks for some reason. It feels like... It feels like... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I feel, you know when you sweep up, like, you got a just pan and brush and you sweep something up and then you finally, and then there's a nice clean spot in the floor. It felt like that. My Capricorn, bear in mind my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does take a look in the description box below, there's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. There are a lot of scams out there. So if you want to have a legitimate private reading with me, you have to come to me, which means you have to go to me via my website, which is gentvtarot.com. There's a link in the description box below. I will never come to you. I will never be up in your DMs or down there saying, this is my WhatsApp. That's not me. That's someone trying to scam you. So don't fall for it, my love. You have to come to me. I just had a delicious biscuit. Delicious. It was a gluten-free. It was delicious and it was gluten-free. Called Lebkuchen. I I've just had the biscuit of my life. No wait, hold on, hold on. The actual biscuit of my life. And we're talking cookies here, because in England we call cookies biscuits. It's a British thing, I know. Biscuits are something entirely different to you. But it's all right. The cookie of my life. I I used to be a model and I used to travel a lot. I was I was traveling, traveling, traveling. I was tired, I was homesick, I was, you know, lonely. I got to a place in Philadelphia and uh, I got to this hotel and I was just miserable. I was tired. And I checked in and they gave me this little package as I checked in. I didn't know what it was. I was just like, oh, thanks. I got up to my room. I sat on my bed. And I was like, I what the package is. And I opened the package and it was a warm, thick, thick, warm, gooey cookie. Chocolate chip cookie. Warm. I sat on my bed crying like a baby, feeling safe and warm and happy because they gave me freaking warm gooey cocaine so there you go capricorn that was the cookie of my life i didn't even cry look at me i'm a mess i could cry about that cookie because it just it meant so much to me and so whoever came up with that it's like you know sometimes somebody just wants something some comfort They've been traveling a long time. And that warm cookie meant everything. So that was the cookie of my life. Apart from the one I just had right now. Right. This is your time with reading Capricorn. I've been talking crap about cookies for so long I don't even know if I went over my blurb. My usual blurb. YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. Patreon. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Capricorn. Different setup. Five card spread. 
I did it for Virgo as well. The uh, universe wants me to change up my spreads today. Okay. Don't get it, but we'll go with it. So the overall vibe here, we've got the two of wands. This is like kind of after the battle, after the tough time you've had. Uh, you're still ready to fight. You're still ready to go. You're still holding on to one of those staffs like, all right, I'm ready to fight. But you can kind of see the end. The end of the tough time. You can see, look, there's, this is usually the three of ones, but there's a ship coming in there. You can see that the tough times are coming to an end. You hold the world in your hands there. Everything's going to be all right. That's sort of what it looks like here, Capricorn. The overall vibe is after the storm, everything's going to be all right. And the storm's done. The clouds are clearing. So your feelings now, we've got the nine of wands. You've got your boundaries set now. You know who you are and you know who you're not. And you know what you want and you know what you really, really don't want. It's, it's like you finally decided to take charge and nobody's gonna mess with you ever again, are they Capricorn? Hell no. Your feelings are, my boundaries are set. I don't ever cross them again. Or anyone else, don't ever cross them at all. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands. If you want me, you gotta do it my way. Don't be coming on in your way. The way to your heart isn't like someone charging on in and jumping into bed with you and showing you a good time. The way to your heart is like, I can't pick the card up. The way to your heart is like this. Six of cups. Look at all those cups. Cups are love. Love. Sorry. Sorry, I just... I had, I had a sandwich, I thought I had stuff in my teeth, but my teeth just look gross, sorry. <laughs> to take the number two. You know, those sandwiches that have, what do you call them? Poppy seeds in it. I was like, oh, we got poppy seeds. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, probably do. Sorry, I'll stop showing my teeth. I'll just talk like this from now on. There's a lot of cups full of love there. And those cups have flowers in them, offerings of love. You know, love to you doesn't mean jumping in the sack and shaking your bones up. It means a warm sunny day, spending time together, talking, getting to know each other. Talking about those cups of love and what's in them what there is to offer talking about those things that's what love is to you now you know what it is and you know what it isn't and you're not gonna let someone cross those boundaries again why is the seven of pentacles here this is this is what you don't know seven of pentacles in reverse which is um Limited success? You've had some limited success with something? What? Love. And someone with an Aries type energy. You've had some sort of limited success with them, but uh, they don't really know what they want. Aries, Leo or Sag? I just, the first thing that popped into my head was Aries for some reason. It, is, it could be an Aries Leo or Sag. Let me know in the comments below there.
love. You had limited success, like an offer of love from somebody. I need to know more about this person. I need to know more. What's going on? There's nothing happening at the moment. Well, what about in the near future? They're not talking to you right now. What you need to do is stop talking to them. Tell me more. Tell me more about these eight of ones in reverse. They're not communicating with you anymore. Don't sweat it, honey. Don't sweat it. Why? Why don't sweat it? If it's not working, it's not working. If they're not putting energy towards you, then they're just not. Don't sweat it. It is what it is. It isn't what it isn't, all right? So the outcome here, we've got the five of wands in reverse. This is avoiding a conflict. Stop talking to them. Stop giving them your energy. They're not giving any back. With them. Ta ta ta. Just, yeah, stop talking to them. Stop giving them your energy. At, at some point, I sort of feel like you'll get some kind of communication from them. But I sort of feel like when you get your head around it, you'll actually see what that communication really means. It's kind of like a goodbye sort of feel. about your boundaries again they're saying you, you you've come out of like a tough time you set your boundaries one of these boundaries is not being set is that you're still talking to this person they're not talking to you so they don't give anything back walk away from it and avoid it let it go just i, I want to say avoid it which is different from letting it go it's it's just sort of like look it's just over there for now i feel like you've got communication coming in from this person but now you will see it for what it really is not for what you want it to be when you release the fear of not having this person not talking to them not communicating with them when you actually get a communication from them, you will see it for what it really is. And it's goodbye, I think. Tell me more about this person. Aries, maybe. Aries Leo Sag. Tell me a little bit more about this person. I'm not getting much through on them. Just, you've been through it. You've set your boundaries what you want, what you do definitely want. It's completely separate to this person though. This person comes in later in the reading where it's like, oh yeah, and by the way, there's this person who, yeah, you've set your boundaries, but do you really mean them? Because you're still talking to this person, you're still letting them in, you're still, what you need to be doing is avoiding them and walking away. Not exactly letting it go, but just sort of putting it over there and. So when they do come back, you can see what them coming back really actually means. Oh, the high priest there, the hierophant. So like a little elephant in here. Sorry. Anything else Capricorn needs to know right now. I'm going to take this into the extended. There are delays on you and this person being together. 
big delays, obstacles, lots of huge obstacles and delays. They're going through something. Um, they're going to communicate with you in the near future. What you need to understand, though, is that this communication isn't I love you, I want to be with you. This communication is something different and you need to see it for what it really is. And accept it. Only then can you move forward in your life. Let's. Well, I'm going to take it to the extent we're going to ask about this person. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But so let's pull some oracle cards here. Oh, no. Need to shuffle them all. Those two exact two came out for Virgo. There we go. Work through your fears. One more. Bring love into the situation. Self love, I'm thinking. You just keep on doing you, baby. Don't worry about them. You just uh, avoid, put it over there. It'll come back when it needs to and then you can deal with it. Love you to death by typo negative. Where am I good enough for you? Is the lyric. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below the link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Bye.